Hey folks, welcome to 406 Regen. Out here hauling some oat hay in on these back roads. When, like I said, I had that truck and I didn't get nothing recorded yesterday, unfortunately. I was, I was too busy. Um, but moving in here down to the smaller, up into the mountains here, I imagine it's going to be snowing pretty quick. Thought I'd bring you along for some of this uh, nice scenery, some of these old farmsteads out here and all that. Minus these little uh, creek crossings, just gotta love them. Road's not the worst, it's not the best maintained in the world either, but so far it's been alright new road for me I've never been out here so that's always exciting when, you, when you're a local farmer or trucker you, you usually end up knowing your back roads around pretty well and like I said this is my first time out here I always enjoy seeing new parts of Montana I always see always enjoy seeing what the weather's doing what some of the rock formations you get into up on the hillsides guess a little bit of snoop too. I always like looking for old cars and stuff and get people's yards or behind the barns and you drive by on the road. It's always fun. Always a new adventure. You can tell it's a little frosty this morning. It's uh, 22 degrees. Well, outside it's 22 degrees. Ooh, got a nice creek bottom there. spot in the road. I really don't like taking this truck out on too many of these back roads, especially if they're not uh, maintained very well. I don't like, it's my over the road truck, so it puts just sports more wear and tear on them. Uh, sometimes though, you also just got to do what you got to do. There's our rock. over the sound of the truck like right there coming up the hill she's pulling pretty good so we'll see this might not even get played but hey you go through the motions of getting everything recorded and doing better your videos get better and more people end up watching I wish it wasn't kind of socked in I'd be able to see more out here but kind of is what it is I guess so yeah, we went out to North Dakota, picked up this oat hay for somebody out here. And just working on getting it delivered here this morning. So taking my time. I don't like going too fast over these gravel roads. You can see I'm doing about 25 is max. So I don't like beating my truck up on necessarily. So anyway, yeah, beautiful country out here. I always like the uh, open rocks, the rock walls and stuff in the hillsides. It's always pretty to me. I mean, rattlesnake heaven, but pretty to me. Bring you along for the journey out here on this back road. Winter, it's starting to snow. Winter's just not quite letting up yet. We'll have some snow all the way until April. End of April, I imagine, will be the last of our big snowstorms. Um, usually, anyway. In old times, when we had moisture and stuff, but usually the end of April, we get socked in with uh, one good snowstorm lasts about a week. And then that would be it. 
in theory though I mean it could snow all the way well I think my uncle said it once snowed in June so I mean it'll do what it's gonna do here's a nice log home out that way talk about. I didn't have too much on my mind today. I wanted to show you guys some of the scenery. Um, let you know what's happening. I'll, I might record getting unloaded. I don't know if they'll like that or not. Um, I'm still new to asking people if I can record and all that and put stuff, you know. So, that's some, a new process I'm going to have to teach myself how to do is asking people if they'll be on camera. Or at least, you know, let the equipment be on camera as they're unloading me or whatnot. You know, I don't, I'm not just going to shove it in someone's face and, hey, I'm trying to do YouTube, be on my video kind of thing. So, which is why I, did, I didn't do nothing yesterday morning. It was 7 degrees when I was getting loaded. The guy didn't seem like he's the type of guy to go for that. So, I just left it alone, got loaded. I had to focus on getting loaded getting everything all the bales placed exactly where I wanted them to be you know, as close to exactly as I wanted to be he didn't listen to me very good about how I wanted it loaded he just kind of did his own thing but they got on there good enough that they made it so. thinking I'm gonna stop up here and let my dog out for a minute and I'll show you guys the uh, cattle guards, the load, and all that. Folks, stop the truck, let the old boy out so he can do, walk around, get his legs stretched out. He always insists on being on the road. He's got 80 acres. He can go right out here. He's got to be on the road. So as you can tell, this is what you call loading flat side out. As you can tell, the bales that way instead of round side which would be put them the other way it looks to be decent oat hay um, my truck is filthy but that's cost of doing business I guess so yeah <laughs> that puts pretty good lean on things Pulled off on the side of the road. I don't like this one bale. I don't know how the hell, how the heck he got it loaded in there like that. But it made it, so we're here. Had everything tied down pretty good enough, I guess. It's cool seeing the old buildings. It's sad and cool in the same way, seeing the old buildings out in the little homesteads they would have had out here in places so I just stop let the boy out let him walk around he's pretty good when we're used to being in the truck you can walk him on a leash after a day or two and he gets to the point where he'll do his business but he is an independent dog so when I can find a pasture or something like this out here in the middle of nowhere I'll let him out let him stretch his legs a little bit He's too old to chase anything, and there's no animals right here anyway. He, well, he don't care about cows, anyhow. But so yeah, this is kind of it. Out here this morning. So come on, dude, gotta walk. Stretch out them legs. Alrighty folks, I'll see if I can't get something when I'm getting unloaded. Alrighty folks, I got my straps all pulled and rolled, rolled up. I gotta put them away. I didn't get a chance to ask if she wanted to be on camera not unloading, so I'm not gonna, not gonna do that. But we got it here got delivered it's not snowing quite yet I'm not sure which way she says there's a 
a big hill a couple miles that way I gotta pull get out of here in order to head home or I gotta go back to 17 miles I came up on I'm not sure which just yet I'm gonna do but so yeah this is where the old oat hay ended up well I mean it's it's gonna end up in those over there <laughs> And then it'll end up down in there. So, all right. I reckon that'll be it for today, folks. Have a good one.